In this video, you're going to learn how to grab screenshots with Python. Additionally, uh, once the screenshot is grabbed, we'll code a feature to send itself on a remote location, such as uh, uploading uh, itself to an FTP server. Now, this is very useful in scenarios where you need to conduct a lot of information gathering. Not all scenarios rely heavily on information gathering, even though this is part of the penetration testing methodology. So this is really the case for specificity. Now in Python, there are many libraries uh, that you can use to take screenshots. And the one we'll be using here is WX Python. If you don't have it already, uh, and I assume you don't, if you don't have it already installed, just open up a terminal or a command prompt command prompt in my case and do pip or pip3 install wx python great with that out of the way uh, let's actually get uh, into the coding so we first start by importing wx python with wx and we'll also need the, the os and the FTP lib modules. Now, for those of you who don't know, WX Python is a library uh, that's heavily used in uh, coding graphical applications or GUI applications with Python, such as Windows applications, for example. It's uh, similar to TK Inter, which is another GUI Python library. However, I'd like to think that's uh, more developed than TK Inter. Okay, so to build our screen grabber or our uh, screenshot grabber, we'll first uh, need to actually instantiate a WX app. And we do that with WX.app. So we have a variable W which instantiates a WX app. And then we also need another variable to make a call to screen DC method that enables us to get the screen. So we'll say screen equals WX screen DC. Uh, now I won't go into details in any of these particular methods because there are entire books written on WX uh, Python. Here I will just use them uh, conveniently. Okay. Now, we need to create an empty bitmap, sort of like, uh, you can think of an, a bitmap in this case, uh, like a canvas that has the size of the screen. So first we'll say size equals screen get size, okay, and then bmap equals wx bitmap size 0 and also size 1. The next thing we need is a memory device context to enable us uh, to draw graphics on to the bitmap uh, we've just created. So we'll say memo equals wx memory dc bmap. So this is the parameter or the argument that we need to specify. And then we just copy our previously defined screen into this context. So we do that with uh, memo.blit00 zero, zero, and I'll explain shortly. Size 0, size 1, screen 0, 0. Okay, so we have the first two zeros for the X and Y positions uh, of the destination device. Then we have the height, uh, the height and the width of the area we copy. Then we have the source from what we copy, which is the screen. And finally, we have the X and Y of the source device context. Okay, so this is all interesting stuff and it was quite complicated for me to wrap my head around it when I saw it the first time. So don't get intimidated if you don't understand everything here. However, if you want to precisely know what all these methods do in essence, you can further study the documentation of uh, WXPython and WXPython.org. But here uh, we just want the, the straight code. All right, now what we'll do is to delete the mem uh, object we've created because we don't need it anymore. So we'll say del memo 
and lastly we'll save the bmap or b or bitmap as png which is more straightforward so we'll say bmap dot save file we'll give it a name grabbed dot png and a parameter wx bitmap type png which is more straightforward like I said so we have the file name all right and then the method in WX uh, library that defines the type we want uh, our image to be saved as so it's PNG and that's it now you might be wondering or saying to yourself that we had uh, to write so many lines of code just to take a screenshot yes that is correct and there are higher level libraries in Python such as PyScreenshot or others that would let you do the same thing in two or three lines of code. My purpose for this video was to go a bit deeper and actually get into the graphics of it uh, to a certain extent, so to speak. Okay, that said, let's actually code the fun part of it, which is how the screenshot will send uh, itself over FTP to a remote uh, server. So at the top we've imported FTP lib and first what we need to do is to create uh, a session. So let's call it ses underscore equals FTP lib dot FTP and then here we'll have to specify the IP of our machine. So 192.168, let's say 01 and we also need to specify a username for the FTP and a password for the FTP because enable to actually uh, in order to actually be able to upload uh, a file to the FTP server you need to provide credentials so MSF admin MSF admin so the FTP server will use for this purpose is a vulnerable machine called Metasploitable 2 which is uh, up and running here so this is Metasploitable 2 which runs the FTP server Okay, now what we need to do is to actually open our screenshot file in read binary mode. So we'll say file underscore equals open. Let's say grabbed.png. Like I said, in read binary mode. And then we have to send it over FTP using the method store binary from the FTP lib uh, library. So we'll say ses underscore dot store binary. And then we need to send the command store. And we'll upload the file to TMP folder as grabbed.png. So dot png. And what we need to store in this TMP grab png is whatever information is in our file underscore which is the screenshot we've taken now as a rule of good practice we close both the file and the session before terminating uh, or finishing the code for the script so we'll say file underscore dot close and then ses underscore dot quit okay and that's uh, actually pretty much it now like I said I will be demonstrating this uh, and make sure that it all works so the FTP server is uh, up and running here and like I said it's metasploitable too and we need to find its IP address with uh, the IF config and as you can see it's 192.168.85.128 so it's 85 1 to 8 all right let's save the script then i'm going to have a command prompt and navigate to the location of the script and then i can simply run it with pi minus 3 grabbed.py and if everything worked correctly we should have our screenshot uploaded in the tmp folder on the ftp server so if i uh hit enter it's going to take a screenshot and then it's going to send it over into the remote location in the TMP folder now if we look in the TMP folder so CD TMP there's nothing in here just some random file okay and then if I run this enter 
it should take the screenshot and it should already be sent over here so if I do ls once again we can see we have the grabbed.png if we look with ls minus a ls minus al more precisely we can see that is 81,000 bytes or so and if I look on the desktop if I hover over it it's roughly 79.3 which is exactly the same size and if I look into it there it is the screenshot so this was one way to go to a screenshot grabber that uh, uploads itself to a remote location now make sure to study the WX Python and the FTP libraries if you want to get more in-depth understanding of how they work and what their capabilities are. As always, you can further greatly expand the capabilities of this script by making it, uh, for example, upload itself to multiple locations or sending itself uh, via email. You could also timestamp and take uh, multiple screenshots at multiple points in time and these are just a few ideas but there is a lot more this uh, script or program can be developed into. The only limit is your imagination.